So, two days ago, I made a video showcasing this script called Paranormal Effects Router, made by Zetsam. If you haven't watched that video, I recommend checking that out first. But I just wanted to point out that in just two days, uh, the developer has pushed two major updates that just make this even better. And I just wanted to highlight the cool things that are new to this awesome script. So right away, you will notice that when you load the script, it's going to load instantly. Before, it used to take like 2-3 seconds to load every time you bring it up, which made it kind of difficult to like toggle on and off, which is something I wanted to talk about. Because now you can set up this um, in the user settings, you can close it on scrape. So this is very handy to work as a quick on and off thing if you map this to a shortcut. For example, I have paranormal effects to maps to this shortcut right there. So every time I want to um, close it, I just press escape, um, if I can press it. And, and every time I want to bring it up, I just press my shortcut. Um, not that shortcut, that one. <laughs> but there you go, it's just super easy to just simply hold, um, hit the escape key when I don't want it. And if I want to bring it up, I just hit the shortcut. And there you go. Now onto the script, you'll notice that when you click in here, there's uh, utilities, there's a couple of more things. Now you can do 3-band, 4-band, and 5-band, and also mid-side processing, which is something I was very looking forward to. But the best part of all, he included this processing setup uh, that you can just, in one click, set up all of the things that I showed you in the previous video in just one click. So they're kind of like uh, effects chains that you can instantly load and it's going to work right away. So for example, let's click on the 3-band splitter setup. And there you go, you can start processing each band. And yeah, you get how this works. Um, pretty much it's the same thing as I showed you in the previous video, but you can now do it with 4 band, 5 band, and the mid side setup. So let's actually load the mid side setup so you can see how it works. So it's right now using, yeah, everything is labeled, the containers are, are labeled, and everything should work pretty seamlessly. So if you want to hear just the mids, yeah, just like um, I showed you before, those are your mids, and here are your sides, and you can totally just process this however you want this in this right here. But yeah, I just wanted to showcase how fast it is to work with this. So I just want to do a three band and then do maybe an effects chain right here. Uh, let's do one of these right here. Boom, I loaded my effects chain there. Uh, maybe I want to copy some effects into here. Or maybe I want to start <laughs> parallel processing. This is so crazy. Like, um, I, I don't think <laughs> in a real scenario, I wouldn't never do this, but it's just so easy to do right now that it's funny. So let's actually add a three band after all that. I'm not sure why I would do that. But I'm sure some people might find this super useful. Like, this is, a, this is just so overboard. Um, with like maybe a five band <laughs> after all of that. So yeah, that's the, the this this is just the amount of stuff you can do in now so easily in Reaper, and and you, even even if it's a super complicated setup like this, like imagine if you didn't have this plugin, this is what you would see. This is this is this would be impossible to understand what's going on. So thank God, you can now. Just hit the shortcut and get a whole map of what's going on with your effects chain and process whatever you have in here and in just one click. And it works so fast, like there's it's so snappy. I'm very very impressed with the performance and how and all the shortcut mouse modifier, it makes this really really handy to use. And now that I can bring it up with escape and the shortcut. Just so nice. But yeah, I just wanted to point those out. Um, the developer said, Sam, like, you should totally support his work. He's been putting a lot of work into this for a long time. And it's just amazing what the community can do to Reaper. So it's just one person doing all of this. And just insane work. So yeah. See ya.